Hey rockers, what's up? Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest metal bands in the world, Metallica. It all started in Los Angeles in 1981 when vocalist James Hetfield answered a newspaper ad from drummer Lars Ulrich, who was looking for musicians to form a band. From there, the duo joined guitarist Dave Mustin and bassist Ron McGovney to form Metallica. After releasing their first album, Kill Em All, in 1983, the band gained prominence in the metal world with their unique blend of heavy guitar riffs, virtuosic solos, and lyrics that tackled topics such as war, death, and social injustice. With the success of their second album, Ride the Lightning, in 1984, Metallica solidified their position as one of the biggest metal bands in the world. From there, the band released a series of albums that became genre classics, including Master of Puppets and Justice for All and Metallica, also known as The Black Album. In 1986, guitarist Dave Mustin was kicked out of the band due to personal issues and was replaced by guitarist Kirk Hammett. In the same year of 1986, the bus carrying the band on tour overturned on the road and resulted in the death of bassist Cliff Burton. Burton's death was a hard blow for the band and fans, and the band needed to go through a period of mourning and reflection. After the tragedy, the band continued with bassist Jason Newsted, but the members faced internal and creative conflicts that led to Newsted's departure in 2001. In addition, in 1991, the band faced controversy with the release of their self-titled album, which featured a more commercial and accessible sound, generating criticism from some more radical fans. Despite these obstacles, Metallica continued to reinvent themselves and evolve while maintaining their essence as a heavy metal band. The band went through a reconstruction process, including the hiring of bassist Robert Trujillo in 2003, and since then they have continued to produce and perform to this day. Another interesting fact is that the song Enter Sandman, which became one of the band's biggest hits, almost didn't make it onto the Black Album. Producer Bob Rock initially didn't like the song and even suggested that the band discard it. However, the band members' insistence on including the song on the album proved them right. The song ended up being the first single from the album and helped propel Metallica's popularity to a new level. In 2020, the band released their latest album, S&M 2, which features new versions of band classics accompanied by the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. Speaking of curiosities, did you know that Metallica is one of the few metal bands that has performed in Antarctica? In 2013, the band played a special show for about 120 people on the icy continent, becoming the first band to play on all of the world's habitable continents. Another interesting curiosity is that the band's bassist, Robert Trujillo, is a big fan of Jaco Pastorius, one of the greatest jazz bassists of all time. In 2014, Trujillo released the documentary Jocko, which tells the story of Pastorius and his influence on music. So, did you enjoy learning a little more about Metallica's history? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave in the comments what your favorite band song is. See you next time.